welcome to my channel this is bye bye money and if you're watching this video I'm glad that you can join us today uh, this video I'm gonna do something a little different it's going to be uh, something that I wanted to do for a while but never really had time to do it so I figured that this is a good day to do it uh, the reason being is because this week I'm taking a small break from trading because there is a big update for the two-legged pullback indicator that we are preparing for. And so uh, I've been working on that for a while now and working on releasing it. And also, big news, uh, we're shooting for this weekend to release a free trial of the indicator and so if you have been on the fence thinking about it i you don't know if it fits your trading style well when uh the weekend comes hopefully when the free trial comes it will be a perfect time for you to check it out and see if it's something that you enjoy and hey, if you don't enjoy it then no harm done you can move on uh, but that's something that we are preparing for over here at twolegapullback.com so uh, it's a lot of work to do a lot of things to prepare for and so this week uh, kind of hard to to find time for trading and so um, I'm I am doing some things here and there personally but uh, not enough time to actually record and make videos for you guys so uh, decided for this video to actually do a QA. and a uh, been basically I started this channel like maybe six seven eight months ago and um has you know over the time there have been uh, multiple questions and uh you know all honestly a lot of the questions are the same questions over and over again so i decided that uh you know i still want to connect with the community here and i decided to do a a, a q a for today so the first question is typically revolving around is trading your full-time job or something along the lines of when will you decide to do full-time trading uh, something like that <clears throat> well the answer to the question is this my full-time job am I full-time trader I am NOT I am NOT a full-time trader in fact I have a full-time job um, the field I am in is technical and so that's a big reason why I was so drawn to the two-legged pullback. Uh, it's price action and it follows a very simple rules. And that's what I like being uh, from a technical background. It's so technical and it's so simple that it can actually be programmed into an indicator. And that's what, draw, that's what drew me in in the beginning with the two-legged pullback. I saw the two-legged pullback and I realized, oh man, uh, you can easily program this so uh, when I first began I actually started with first wanting to program the two-layer pullback and uh, and by doing so I became very very involved in learning what the two-layer pullback was and all its uh, nuances I had to uh, in order to actually program it uh, will I ever become a full-time trader honestly I don't know. I definitely, definitely, uh, if I was ever to become a full-time trader, first, I would need to make more money trading than I do in my full-time job. And I work, you know, in IT, and so that is actually a while from now for that to happen. I have a full-time job, and unless I make more money trading, and it will have to be substantially more trade than I do uh, working full time. And not only that, I would have to trade consistently for, I would say, years, many years. Uh, you know, if I'm consistent for three months, who knows? Maybe the next three months, I might be consistently bad. <laughs> um, and in order, you know, I got bills to pay and I can't just depend on trading for my income it's very nice to have it as some extra side money but 
Um, yeah, I mean, my full-time job, uh, it'll be a while until my trading surpasses my uh, full-time income. And plus, you have the issue of consistency. Uh, full-time job is stable, and I'm good at what I do. And so I like that. I like that security. And that's another reason why I'm drawn to the two-legged pullback and scalping, because uh, you're trying to find something with high probability. And uh, in a sense, I'm, I'm pretty risk adverse. Uh, I like to, uh, you know, yeah, I like to have uh, contingency plans and uh, find something stable. So, yep, that's that's what it is with the full-time job. And I, I definitely would not go into full-time trading unless I made more trading uh, for a long period of time than I would uh, with full-time work. Uh, in the meantime, it's a nice side income. And so I take that. Uh, the second question is typically what broker and what platform do I use? Uh, everything I use is NinjaTrader. Uh, I actually began with uh, Think or Swim, but I only did that because they had um, free data, free live data for futures. And so I used Think or Swim. I used it for SIM trading early on, and I traded that for months. And, um, and that's exactly why uh, at the two-legged pullback website there is a think or swim uh, version of the two-legged pullback indicator uh, because i used it and i used it heavily and um but now uh you know in my mind i don't think think or some you know commissions can compete with uh ninja trader but uh right now i use ninja trader i have the full-time license i figured that if uh, i'm gonna trade i'm thinking i'm gonna trade for 10 years, 10 years from now, I can see myself still trading. So I figured that the um, Ninja Trader uh, full time or the lifetime license was worth it. And uh, and if you don't have an account yet with Ninja Trader, every once in a while, <clears throat> the uh, the full, the uh, lifetime license goes on sale. And so just be on the lookout for that. It comes around like around the same time every year. You can probably look it up and see when it came out last year, and you know see if it's around the same time this year. Um, and also, what broker do I use? Well, I'm based in the U.S. and I like Philip Capital. I never had issues with them. And also, they do ACH uh, transfers, so that's a nice little plus. Uh, if you're overseas or whatnot, I you know I, I can't tell you uh, which broker to use. So that's what I use. And um, yep, it's not advice, but more personal. That's what I'm what I'm using. This is a the next question, uh, and I think it's a very important question because I I love to ask this question. I figured if you ever want to learn something from someone, ask who did they learn from, or where did they learn from, or how did they learn. Find their source material, and in a sense, you can kind of make it your own if you grab their source. So the next question, who did I learn from? You know. I didn't create the two-legged pullback. I did create the two-legged pullback indicator, but I did not make the two-legged pullback. In fact, the two-legged pullback has been a price action strategy, I think, ever since trading began. Um, it's a pattern that, you know, it's essentially the zigzag pattern. And, uh, you know, traders over time have honed it and made it into an, a nice trading system. <clears throat> so no one, really knows who created the two-legged pullback uh, but uh, today there's probably two people that come to mind who uh, trade this setup uh, mac from price action trading system and uh, al brooks from brooks trading course uh, i like mac a lot i mean he seems like a very genuine nice guy uh, he puts a lot of material out for free, and uh, so I thank him for that. In fact, I learned most of what I learned about the two-legged pullback from his free content. You know, you don't have to even buy his course. He puts it all out there. Uh, but I would, you know, if you follow Mac for a while and, you know, find his stuff helpful, I I think it's perfectly fine to go ahead and support him and, you know, even buy his uh, material if you think it'll be helpful. and. 
he does go into some more details in his booklet and so I, I would recommend it you know if you, again if you're planning to trade for a long time 200 bucks you know 300 400 bucks you know especially if it's material or something that can help you in the long term it, it's that's nothing that's 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 a very small investment to make for your own investing <laughs> you're investing in your investing so let's think about it that way um, Mac is nice because he basically mainly trades the two legged pullback the second entries and he also trades traps failed second entries and um, if you go into his material he trades he, he essentially likes to trade the two legged pullback in trends he has a certain way to trade it and also in trading ranges and he has a specific way to trade it in trading ranges and so yeah, it's I think it's good stuff if you ever if you can get a grasp of it. Now, now, whew, who's better, Al Brooks or Mac? You know, I, I personally think it's it's <clears throat> it's up to the user. I I admire Al Brooks. I admire him. Uh, this guy, he is he is just leagues above everyone else. Uh, people think he's not legit, but man if you read his stuff if you read you know his even his free blogs that he posts if you read the things that he posts for free even he is he just he just will open your eyes to price action in a way where you would have never have guessed but but that being said he's very very dense he has books three book series and also he has a uh, online course. I highly recommend the online course. It's actually every every lesson he has comes with a video and examples, and so I think it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, it's a little bit pricey. I honestly think you don't if, unless you want to trade forex, you don't need a forex version. Um, but uh, I think you know it goes for like 300 bucks, something like that, on his website. Uh, if you just type in Brooks Trading Course, you'll find it pretty easily. And uh, yeah, I. <laughs> In, honestly, I'm still I'm still uh, grasping and learning. You know, I can probably go through his course five, six, seven times and learn something new. And so, um, you know, if you read his stuff, it, it, Mac doesn't compare. He just Mac is elementary school. Brooks is you know PhD in action trading, action price action trading, to be honest. But uh, again, with that being said. It might appeal to some uh, more than to others. I'm not saying just go ahead and buy it, but I think personally it, it's it's worth its weight in gold. And um, yeah, so Al Brooks also teaches the two-legged pullback. He calls them H1 or H2, L2 setups. And um, yeah, a lot of the way I read price action comes from him, but I do like to use Mac because he simplifies the two-legged pullback in very concise manner in certain setups and so I like to uh, use Al Brooks and Mac and combine it and kind of make my own flavor and um, yeah so I have my own way of trading and so um, yeah that's that I think at the end there's no perfect system the perfect system is whatever system that you end up trading what end up whatever system you end up using uh, it will be your own system and no other system will be like it and so um and hopefully it will be a profitable system but really you can only trade the system that best fits you uh the next question i get is any any lessons for beginners you know if i could you know give any tips to myself you know before i started um well to be honest i didn't start that long ago uh, i've been trading for a while now i i guess i'll just kind of go from the beginning here but this is a little bit of my story and uh, I, I've been trading for years maybe two three years now uh, and just on and off with options trading things like that and to be honest um, and that's that's kind of how I learned a lot of uh, technical trading you know just breakouts trend lines channels support resistant levels things like that and I learned the basics uh, over those two three years 
I was introduced to this particular system, you know, I, I realized, you know, I started using indicators. I wanted to use divergences and, you know, I saw all these things and I was like, this stuff is just, it's just not, the, the probability of these things working is just too low for me. And um, so I wanted to, you know, find something because the indicators were just too laggy. Uh, they were laggy. And, um, and to be honest, uh, I started to look into price action trading and I stumbled across the infamous, infamous Michael Chin. Yes, the infamous Michael Chin. In fact, many of us probably are even, uh, you know, in price action trading because of Michael Chin. He has some history and because of some of, you know, I believe legal issues. Um, he doesn't really post anymore. And, um, and to be honest, I don't, I don't really think he's a good trader. Uh, he's a great marketer, <laughs> that's for sure. But trader, uh, when I watch his videos, he, he doesn't really teach anything. He doesn't really, I don't think he really knows too much about what he's doing. Uh, at least compared to uh, Mac and uh, Brooks. And so anyways, I realized that uh, this, that Michael was essentially, um, you know, rehashing Pats. That's what he allegedly was doing. Either way, um, that is how I got introduced to Pats. And then so I started looking into Pats, you know, Mac from Pats, and I realized that Pat's or Mac um, was mentored and I guess this is a rumor you know I, I read it everywhere but he was mentored by Al Brooks and so I started looking to Al Brooks and that's why I am here or you know that's basically my two uh, mentors and um, and from that I started to do price action trading and that happened because of guess what COVID yeah, COVID, I, just, I was at home all day and uh, had a lot of time on my hands and I was working from home every day. So I realized, why not gain another skill? Why not gain something in this time where we're just at home all day? And so I started to look into futures trading. And um, yeah, that was essentially, I, I tell you, when I first began, I I was terrible. I was so so terrible i i had a hard time even counting legs and all these things and but i was uh i was enamored i was enamored by the strategy i was enamored because of how technical it was and i uh after finally being able to grasp it i i was i don't know another word if there's another word for but essentially i was just obsessed i was reading charts studying charts reading al brooks reading Mac from pads I was anything I could find I was just consuming I was doing this day and night hours and hours I whew, though I haven't started very you know very long ago I the amount of hours I have put in I would say uh, you know I I think uh you know I'm not sure how many hours I put in but the amount of hours I put in I way exceeds I think the experience that uh, some may have just with eight around eight months of um, price action trading just because of the amount of hours that I was you know I it was it's one of those things that like you can't even sleep because you're just so eager so hungry to learn and uh, that's how I was I was you know uh, staying up all night reading charts and getting very little sleep and uh yeah next day work 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 and getting back to the charts and learning more about price action trading and yeah so um if i had a lesson to tell myself in the beginning it would definitely be patience first off man patience you need so much you know when people want to when they hear about scalping making 500 dollars a day making only two trades you know they think you don't need patience. You know, it's just gonna be quick, easy. First off, it's not easy. Second of all, you need to be very patient. In fact, you know, that's the funny thing about scalping. Though the scalp takes maybe seconds, you know, minutes, maybe most at most. Waiting for the setup is the thing that is actually the hard part. 
waiting for the right setup. And that requires incredible amount of patience. Just gotta sit on your hands. You gotta sit on your hands until you see some sort of price action that you're just like, okay, I would be just astonished if this doesn't make a point. I'd be astonished if this doesn't swing. And so you're you're just waiting for that setup. And to be honest, sometimes I sit there for hours, two, three hours, before I say, okay, fine, I think I see a setup and, I, and I've been staring at this chart for so long. And honestly, depending on your temper, temperament, um, you know, this honestly could be very difficult for you to learn because of patience. You know, um, if it's, you know, if you don't like staring at the charts for hours and not doing anything, if you can't do that, then uh, this will be very hard, to be honest. You know, I would say pretty, a good way to practice, literally stare at a chart for eight hours straight from market open to market close and don't make one single trade. Just stare at it and just stare at it and just and just read it. Just read the chart. You're just like reading like a book and trying to read it and don't even make a trade. Do that for hours. And uh, I would say uh, that maybe you can gain some of the patience required. Um, again, it's not easy. Uh, it's difficult. Even with one scalp, to make one point, um, it's hard. It's hard to be profitable. Um, in the beginning, I wanted to just make money, you know, uh, and I realized that's very hard to do to make money. You're you're up against the best, up against the smartest, and so you know, if you want to make money. Uh, you gotta you gotta learn we gotta start from scratch you gotta start from the beginning you gotta learn the hard way and uh, I you know I can't tell you how many sim accounts I've blown I can't I mean I I definitely blew uh, an account when I first started and uh, it was harsh it, it hurt you know I blew my first account it was two thousand dollars and I was trading the MES I blew in an account, a $2,000 account trading the MES. That's that's pretty hard to do. And uh, I did it with, with style. <laughs> I was uh, thinking of all these amazing reasons to enter into trades. And, uh, and looking back at it, I was being I was being way too creative for no reason. I was probably just be I was just too bored. And uh, and I, you know, made a lot of bad trades, made a lot of bad decisions. I learned a lot of lessons. Uh, losing a 2K account on the MES is like, like losing a 20K account on the ES. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's a significant amount of money. I don't know about you, but that is for me. And so, um, yeah. So when I, when I lost that account, I, you know, when I blew that account, and uh, you can even see it in my channel. There's like a break, a long break I took. Uh, the reason being is when I blew that account, I just sat back and I, I was like shell shocked. I was wondering, can I do this? Can I really do this? And um, I said, you know, I, let's try. Let's let's keep trying. And I don't want to give. It's too early to give up. And I, you know, again had a 10-year goal in mind. I said, in 10 years, if I can't be profitable, then maybe I quit. But I'm glad I, I'm glad I stuck it in there. I said I won't make another live trade until I double another account, and I wanted to double a MES account. Uh, there were many reasons why I did blow that first account, you know. But at the end, they're all excuses. Um, I just I had much more to learn, to be honest. And I uh, yeah, and I had to learn the hard way. So I went back to Sim, and I wanted to double an account and I said I won't trade real money until I double this account and I wanted to stick as close as possible to the system and I blew many many accounts I think it took me a couple months to get out of that and finally uh, once I was successfully able to double an account as best as I could following the strategy I decided to open I started to I decided to do another MES account and this time I wanted to double a 5k account and the only thing I was focused on was being profitable I didn't focus on anything else I could make one win a day and I'll be happy as long as I was in the green and that's all I cared about 
I just wanted to trade the best setups possible and be profitable. And in fact, that is the same goal today. Uh, but you know, you gotta understand the double a 5k account using the MES, every point on the MES is five dollars. It took a long time and it took a lot of lessons. And um, but I think what helped was having the mindset of just who cares how much money you make? It does not, it's not about that. It's just about being profitable. And I just wanted to be green. And so uh, that was very helpful. That helped me gain a lot of patience, a lot of patience. Uh, and that was good because that's the patience that I needed in order to go into the ES. And so, yep, that's, uh, that's kind of my story, I guess, uh, up to this journey so far. And uh, the last question I typically get is the indicator. Uh, where can I get it? Where can I find information? Well, you can go to the official two-legged pullback website at www.twoleggedpullback.com. And uh, there's a lot of information there. And you can learn uh, just about the indicator. There's even some things about the strategy. And um, yeah, and to be honest, you know, I don't, I can count legs second nature by now but still i like the indicator it helps it helps because i don't have to count legs it automatically does it for me and uh not only that it has a couple perks you know things that you can't do manually such as give you an alert if there's a two-legged pullback approaching give you an alert for traps and uh, also uh, it's very nice because to be honest sometimes some two-legged pullbacks are very hard to catch you know especially if the pullback is like one tick sometimes you miss it if the price action is very quick and so that's the amazing thing about indicators in computers they do it automatically and they can do it in fractions of a second and so um yeah that's it for the indicator and uh, yeah, if you want more information check out the website you can always watch my videos and um uh, you know, see me using the indicator all the time. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Q and A. And um, yeah, I hope uh, you know this release goes smooth this weekend. I really, we we want to target this weekend for the free trial for you guys, and also an update for anyone who already has the indicator. The update's going to be good. It's it's a it's a very it's a pretty substantial upgrade, and so. Uh, yeah, that's why, you know, taking a small break because just, just focused on this indicator and making sure it runs smooth uh, when the time comes. And so, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And if you're still around, I really appreciate it. And yeah, if it's this stuff is helpful, if you like this stuff, you know, it'd be great if you guys can give me a uh, like and a uh, subscribe, you know, this helps us a lot and gives us more motivation to put out content for you guys and so I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything uh, yeah I could just say that again man patience 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 and if you if you don't get it you know within two three months welcome to the club uh, I don't think anyone gets it in fact I, to be honest I'm still learning I still feel like I'm learning a lot and uh, much to learn and um, yeah so year two years you're still learning this stuff and um, yeah so I guess uh, with that as always happy trading and God bless and I'll see you guys around